Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the max area of island problem using breadth first search. Last time, I showed you a solution using depth first search and recursion. This time we're going to use iteration using breadth first search. So, given a non-empty 2D array grid of zeros and ones, an island is a group of ones representing land connected four directionally, horizontal or vertical. You may assume all four edges of the grid are surrounded by water. Find the maximum area of an island in the given 2D array. If there is no island, the maximum area is zero. And as before, I showed you this example, you can see that the maximum area in this example is six, because this is the island that has the maximum area. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are connected horizontally or vertically. So that's why this is an island. It is not 11 because these, for example, are connected diagonally, so this is not valid. But these here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they are connected vertically and horizontally. So this is an island. So last time I showed you a recursive solution using depth first search. This time we're going to use a queue and iteration using breadth first search. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have up here a two-dimensional array of integers for the directions. So private static final two-dimensional array of integer directions. So you know that it has to be vertically or horizontal. So I can go in four possible directions. So first, let's say I can go to the left or I can go to the right or I can go up or I can go down so now I have all the possible directions I can traverse so now I need integer m gets a value of grid that length and gets a value of grid sub zero that length and the final result initialized to zero and the final result rest is the maximum area initialized to zero. So the first step is to traverse the grid. And as I traverse the grid, I want to start the BFS traversal from every point ij. So I will have four integer i, because if I lose zero, i is less than number of rows, plus plus i. Four integer j, because if I lose zero, j is less than the number of columns, plus plus j. Then, I will check if grid sub i sub j equals equals zero, I will just continue. So if the point at position ij is zero, it means that the point is water. So I don't want to count that because that's not land. Also, if it is zero, it could mean that this has been visited before because I will mark every visited point with value zero to simplify the code. Then, because I want to start the BFS traversal from every point ij, I want to count how many ones I see from this point ij, going up, left, down, and right. So I need a variable count initialized to zero for that, to count how many, how many land, how much land I see, or how many, how many ones I see. And then I need my queue for the BFS traversal. So queue of array of integer Q gets the value of new linked list. So I have an array of integer here for to represent a point. So the value, the first value in the array will be point uh, will be point i, or in the second value will be point j. So the first value will be the row, and the second value will be the column. And then I will offer, I will enqueue q that offer new array of integer with value i and j. So I will enqueue the first point, and after I enqueue the first point, I want to mark it as visited. So I will, I will use the same input to mark it. I will say grid sub i sub j gets a value of zero. That way, if I see this point again, I know that I have counted this point before. It's already counted, so I will not count it again. And I will not traverse that again either. So now, that I have my Q 
queue with the first point, I can, st I can start the process of BFS or breadth first search. So I will say while not queue dot is empty, I will dequeue the, uh, the point from the queue. The queue is first in first out, so this is the, the oldest point. So I will call it P, gets a value of Q dot pole. And then after I DQ a point, that point is valid, that was land. I will always maintain land in the queue. I will increment the count. And after I increment the count, I will check if this new count, if this new area is bigger than the biggest area I found before. So I have to update my, my final result. So result gets the value of mass that max of the previous maximum I had before or plus plus count this new area, this new count. And notice that I'm using the pre-increment operator because first I increment this variable and after I increment it, then I compare it with the result. And if it is bigger, if this new area is bigger than the final than the maximum area I had before, I update my maximum area because because this is a new maximum area. And then from this point P, I want to explore in all directions using breadth first search. So I want to explore up, left, down, and right. So I will explore in those directions. So for array of integer direction in directions. I will get my new row direction, my new point, my new row for the new point, integer r gets a value of p sub 0 plus d sub 0, and the new column gets a value of p sub 1 plus d sub 1. So this for loop is going to allow me to traverse in all directions, left, right, up, and down. Remember that this array represents a point and the first value in the array is the row and the second value is the column or you can say the first value is x and the second value is y but I'm using r for row and c for column to represent the x and y value so now that I have this new point that this is a possible point I want to traverse because it's connected either horizontally or vertically, I need to check if this point is actually valid. So we'll say if r is less than 0, or r is greater than or equal to the number of rows, or c is less than 0, or c is greater than or equal to the number of columns, or greed sub r sub c equals equals 0, I just continue. So if I'm out of bounds, if this new point is out of bounds, or if I have visited this point before, or if this point is actually water, then this is not a valid point, and I don't want to enqueue this point, because I just want to count the land. That means a point that is equal to 1. So I will skip all the code down here. If I get to this point, that means that this is a valid point, this is land, this is 1, so I want to offer this point to the queue, I want to enqueue, so queue that offer new array of integer with the value r and c for this new point. And then every time I enqueue, I want to mark this point as visited. So I will do so by saying grid sub r sub c gets a value of zero. And then at the end of everything, I will just return the final result. Then I will run the code. All right, I will submit my solution. This is working perfectly. So this is a solution using breadth first search, BFS. The time complexity is big of m times n, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. The space complexity is also big of m times n. I'm modifying the original input matrix to mark the values that I have seen before. But if you actually want, you can if you, don't, if you don't want to modify the input matrix, you can make another one and use that one to mark the values that you have seen before. If you like this video, please press the like button 
Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.